I never set my pot from where my casting temps seems to work the best. I just take my time, let it warm up from that. of all you this to get some ideas. Uh, I get a good read off my uh, my uh, valve rod there before I hang it here. So it's 592 size of pod.
how that's calibrated either, but we're going to start with there. Oh, she skimmed over pretty good from what's in there, so that should help maintain. One's oh. going earlier, now she's not. They can handle some pretty good heat. They can work on a hot mold if you need to. I was prepared to do this. A bunch of
sometimes a short screw like that does work fine. That's a little too short, especially starting out. But that might indent and shrink a little bit. Going up the tin, I felt a little pinch when I closed the mold on the, on the last tin there. Oh, line to get there. I'll just sit down. I will probably look to be fair standing. No, I'm going to That screw cool. Kind of shrink down, looks like a final weld on something you might have bought that was already welded years ago. Kind of looks like that. I got a little extra on there, so go take a little knock that extra off of there. When I started casting, I had one mold all just filled with it, and I was using uh, probably real weight lead and wasn't right. <laughs> Everybody follows suit and does the same. It's a learning curve. Good buy as cheap as we can. Cause, yeah, I, I did find a line for some lead up in uh, 100 miles north of me there for $1.50 a pound, and there's hundreds of pounds there. Claims to be fewer, so we'll see how that works. It's time to run up there some someday. We can I can meet up with them. I'm familiar with, might be related to people that you know around here. Okay, looks like things are going smooth here. I should have a leather apron on when I do this, but it's over there and it runs down my arm first and it's like, so I just in my pants. It really does help to get a puddle of lead on the DD there. I need to run some 357s too here, guys. Just work on that gun. What up, doctors? My cat comes to join me. Complain I got the noisy band on here. Go chase that ball. That bullet holes in it. A couple of big screws I left sit there a little longer. Cat tells me I want to take a time out, right? Yeah, it's all a little ball of lead there that was cool. I would have messed up my core right away. Uh, that's a full pressure core there. <laughs> that one out of the out of the the top. But that might engrench a little bit of the bullet. I see it's straightening in already. Probably not going to get any release from the screw here. Look at that. Spin it off with your hand. Alright. Oh, you're going to watch me do these all day or wait till I switch to another brand here. Hey, I can do that right away. Look at that. Okay. Let's heat up our pins a little on this side. These are all 30 dog and just keep dumping them in the same box. There's 
time. I'll, I'll switch all. I gotta switch all thirty-five cal here. Take a little breather here while we do this. And then the return pile. It should be screws out of a blunderbuss. Maybe that's why they invented the blunderbuss. Fresh baked cookies. We have to our flat nose. That tiny screw is a little like sitting inside a 177 hollow point <laughs> size screw that came off that one. Down, I can see where I'm lining up right here and I'm out of harm's way. So, get that screw heat up. Hammer time. For the four lug molten, especially when you hit and have the screw. How do you look? Oh, they look like hell up so far. Get them off, but they're working great for a brand new mold. I've run it through a couple seasonal sessions, and then I haven't had time to run a cast. Good luck so far. Over there, we got two nuts. You know, bigger screws might seem like a waste, but then again, throwing away less pellets at the end of the day. <coughs> chasing you again. Oh my. And you have some air gunner and has a Pigeon out the side and make friends with me. Imagine that. I'm the only pigeon on the farm, and I'm the only mechanic on the farm, so we kind of. He decides what I work on during the day. My immediate supervisor. He shits on the floor that day, I don't fix it.
I like to put the cavity molds for the reason that the flip are flopping around. That's putting all the pressure of the left pot. It's about three quarters full now. It's slightly over that. I don't like to do, but after I got everything adjusted here, it's been really fine. Like everything, you gotta really make it your own and work with your style sometimes, too, I guess. But don't think you can make something that everybody else has tried work. That's one thing. Everybody keeps staying their head on the wall, I see. I watch the pros do it. I learn from them. Many of them are no longer with us. So continue this tradition here. I think I could cook these over a campfire if I need to. I need a thermometer. Once you start learning the lead and how it feels when you stir with the same size spoon every time and that, you actually could get a feel of it in the art form, yeah. Squeeze all this way and I'm going to hang it up on this one. Pushes still hot, keeps pushing. Should show up the skirt swell. Alright. And now, now this one I could probably, oops, that one fell short. See a big hole right there. Nice guy. You come see what I'm throwing all over the basement here, too. You know. I mean, you probably do get a better thing. We can screw. You can play that. You can alternate in between, but not continuous one one way. Cheating it. But. All right. I'm gonna drop two more of the bullets here, and then we'll regroup. Well, I'll run those two. Who knows? Two ball watch.
they got hurt in sports or something. I'm doing up and down cardio for the day here. You gotta sit up and not down. Yeah, that extra screw draws that final let down and to give you a full fill and once you get wrinkles like what you do. Get wrinkles here, they don't have them down there. Take a bit. And the dog cycle thing, I had a little string that kept going until I ran the toad a few times. Good thing I have a glove on, the hot plate's still warm even though I am close to it. Maybe I'm close to bowl. Okay. One more time. I like watching the screws that kind of sets you the case and see that happen. And that final kind of dullness happen right up to the core of it, essentially. And everything's drawn in. It's kind of like solder sweating a pipe, half a pipe. But you don't want this to stick. Dropped out. I don't know why my pin stuff though. It did. Alright, time to quit. Tim is holding up a little bit, not breaking through the mold, a little piece of lead or something out of there. Alright, thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Fall up the fuel tank. Down all the way, so a little drip there. And that way, when I start it up, if I walk away, I do have something to catch. Hot and it'll go all over.